Hi, this is Mitch Mitchell. I'm back in Syracuse. Uh, last week, I actually took a few days of a trip to Orlando once again, where I had some business meetings to attend to. Boy, don't I just sound so important? I'm really not. So anyway, I wanted to talk about this concept of being uncomfortable. You know, I'm kind of a big guy. I'm not going to lie about that. So I started buying shirts that were a little larger than the norm. That's all I'm going to say. I ain't saying what it is. But I buy them because after I was washing shirts, they would shrink and suddenly they weren't comfortable anymore. They just, you know, felt too tight in different places, always a different place. And then I was just giving them away. And okay, I'm, I'm a generous guy at times, but I need to keep giving away shirts. So I started buying these extra larger sizes so that I could be comfortable. And then what I find out or what usually happens, and I don't know why this is the first year it really hit me, is that during winter time, most of the time I don't wear a real big heavy coat. I will wear my heavy uh, hoodie, if you will, a warm-up jacket with the hood on it. And it's warm enough, but even with a longer shirt, you know, the cold air gets under it. And the stomach was always getting cold. And so this year it finally hit me, hey, you know what? Tuck your shirt in the pants. So you protect your stomach. Now, I don't like tucking my shirts into my pants. Dress shirts are kind of different. Uh, I get them, you know, larger. The pants seem to fit better, you know, okay with it. But regular shirts, you know, shirts like this, this feels too bulky all around. And everything fits really tight. Even though I've lost some inches, it still fits really tight. But you know what? I had to think about the concept of being uncomfortable to be comfortable. Because what? is more uncomfortable. Having to tuck my shirt in so that I stay warm all over when I go outside. And trust me, temperatures have been below zero here. So <laughs> I'm thinking, you know what? We will give up the discomfort of having to tuck our shirt in for the discomfort of having zero weather, zero degree weather or colder, or even 20 degrees. You know what? That's still pretty cold when the air is getting right to your stomach. It just comes right under the shirt. And so, you know, there's this concept about being uncomfortable to do something better. For instance, I don't like to wear hats. And a couple of my videos, you may have seen me wearing a hat, or you may have seen the entry picture. Geez, I can't even think of what that thing is called right now. Uh, it'll come to me later after I've finished with the video. Anyway, you've seen me wearing a hat. Truthfully, I've always hated wearing hats. I don't like stuff on my head. One of the worst things about being a baseball player, and I loved baseball, loved playing baseball, but I had to wear a hat out there, you know, during the game. And then you had to wear that stupid helmet when you were at bat. Sure, it protected your head. So you had to give up comfort once again in order to do something to protect yourself. Um, I don't like sleeping in socks. I really hate wearing, wearing socks to bed. But I've started to notice that I'm scratching myself all over my legs when I'm sleeping. I'm waking up with scars all over my legs. No idea where they're coming from. Um, well, actually, I think it's probably my toenails. Um, but after a couple of particularly bad scars, one that still hasn't healed properly and I'm diabetic, I started wearing socks um, so that hopefully that hasn't happened. And I haven't seen any new scars on my legs since I started doing it. Once again, you give up something uh, that's comfortable for something that's uncomfortable for a better benefit. You know, this is just how life kind of is. We all aren't always comfortable. We all have things that we don't like. And sometimes we have to figure another way around it. For instance, today I canceled our gym membership. Yes, I did. That bad boy's cost us $600 a year. And you want to know the truth? Over the last probably three years, I think I've been to the gym maybe four or five times, if that. And my wife's probably been twice. When we first joined the gym, we were going daily for a while, and then we were making a commitment to go at least four times a week. And then things just get away. She starts traveling, I start traveling, we start finding alternative ways of exercising. For instance, when the weather is good, I'd rather walk the neighborhood or go to the lake. And when it's not, like right now in the wintertime, I have a ranch-style house. <laughs> I plotted out a course between the living room and the kitchen where I can walk my course I can listen to my music without having to put on my music, my music, <laughs> without having to put on headphones, or I can listen to a recorded book. I can put the laptop down and listen to videos. Um, if there's a game on or 
something on regular TV where I can hook up all three TVs, because I got a TV in every room, then I can walk my little course and I can see something on all of them. I'd rather not do it just with the one TV because then I'm walking away and I'm missing all kind of stuff. But if I can do it all three TVs, I can do that. And I enjoy that. I mean, in, I'm in my house. I don't have to put on clothes, get in the car, drive somewhere with a bag, with a key and a lock so I can lock my stuff up and then worry that I bring everything back with me. I don't have any of that stuff to worry about. So I've taken something. It was really uncomfortable, but it would have been to my benefit and found another way to do something that is still to my benefit without having to go through that kind of discomfort. I think that overall, sometimes we complain about a lot of stuff when we can find other ways to get around it that we can deal with and aren't so bad. For instance, uh, once again, I'm going to mention this my fitness pal thing. For years, I tried to track different ways of eating, and you know, it was uncomfortable trying to say, Well, should I have this pasta? I can't eat pasta, or I can only have a you know, a little dinky piece of this cake, or you know what, I could care less today. I'm eating that five scoop ice cream Sunday because I'm just eating it, <laughs> you know, different things like that. And yet, this thing here has made me. I can't say that it was uncomfortable totally. It was uncomfortable when I first started because now I go to the store and I'm looking at labels all the time. And that can be somewhat irritating, especially when you look at something, your mind says, I really want this. And then you look at the label and say, oh man, it's got that many calories per serving. And how much is a serving? Did you know that a can of baked beans a can of baked beans. Usually it's considered having five servings, and each serving is about 520 calories. What? I used to eat a can of that like nothing. I would chop up some hot dogs or fry some hamburger and crumble it up in there. But, uh, you know, you've seen the cans. They're not that big. So uh, one serving is 520 calories. <sighs> but you take that uncomfort, that kind of thing, and now it's uncomfortable because I love that, and you find something else that it turns out really isn't so bad in the scope of things and you still enjoy yourself so you know yes we have to deal with discomfort and we have these things that you know make us uncomfortable and they irritate us and they irk us but with a little thought a little bit of foresight and a little bit of chutzpah you can find a way around that that's what today's video is all about fighting your way through discomfort or being uncomfortable let me know what you think. Do you have these periods? Do you have these things that you have to adjust? Or have you figured out how to adjust things? Maybe you haven't. Let me know. This is Mitch Mitchell. Y'all have a great day.